The VVPAT or the Voter Verifiable Paper Audit Trail is a new addition to the EVM setup. This has two components, the main body of the unit and the connected VVPAT status display unit. Here's how you set up the VVPAT. Release the locking latches. Insert the battery and close the door. Open the paper roll compartment Insert the spindle into the paper roll. Insert the spindle now into the grooves. Insert the edge of the paper roll into the paper insertion guide and turn the paper feed knob four times in the clockwise direction. The FLC of VVPAT systems is done at the DEO level by the authorized engineers of BEL or ECIL, as the case may be, in the presence of representatives of political parties. VVPATs are randomly allocated to assembly constituencies or segments and handed over to the RO concerned. VVPATs are prepared for poll after finalization of the list of contesting candidates at the RO level. Serial numbers, names and symbols of the candidates, including the serial number, full form and symbol of nota, that is none of the above, are uploaded in the VVPATs by the authorized engineers of BEL or ECIL. At the RO office, the functionality of the VVPAT unit has to be tested. For this, connect the CU, BU and VVPAT using the cables provided. After switching on the units, the VVPAT prints the self-test slip. Follow this up with a mock poll. Check if the data on the slip printed corresponds with the button pressed. Repeat this process by voting for each contesting candidate and nota and ensure their correctness. The VVPAT data and the CU data should match candidate-wise. After being satisfied, switch off the CU, disconnect the cables and match the mock poll result on CU with that on the slips collected from the VVPAT unit. Polling with VVPAT The drop box compartment has to be sealed by the PRO before poll. During the poll, the VVPAT will be placed with the BU and the VSDU is kept with the CU. Here is how you set up the VVPAT. During the poll, when the voter casts his vote, the VVPAT displays a paper slip for 7 seconds. The voter can verify his choice. After 7 seconds, this slip gets cut automatically and falls inside the VVPAT drop box. Hence, the voter can verify his choice but can't take this slip home. Now let's take a look at what the basic displays mean. If there is no message on VSDU and link error on CU, replace the entire system. If the VSDU shows error code 1, this means the battery is low. Replace the battery. Error code 2 signifies printer error. You might need to change the VVPAT unit in that case. Always remember the CU needs to be switched off before replacing the VVPAT unit or replacing the VVPAT battery and connecting the cables. After the poll is over, seal the VVPAT unit in its box. Checklist of additional items of polling materials to be provided to the polling party. Voter Verifiable Paper Audit Trail VVPAT 1 Number VVPAT Status Display Unit VSDU one number. Additional power pack for VVPAT printer unit, one number. Carrying case for the VVPAT system, one number. Envelope made of thick black paper for sealing the printed paper slips of mock pole, two numbers. 
plastic box for black paper envelope sealing, one number. Pink paper sealed for sealing plastic box, two number. Form for declaration by elector under Rule 49MA of the Conduct of Election Rules, 100 copies. Decision making for counting of printed paper slips. If any candidate or his election or counting agent applies in writing to the RO to count the printed paper slips of the VVPAT with regard to any polling station or polling stations in a constituency, the RO may allow the application in whole or in part or may reject it in whole if it appears to him to be frivolous or unreasonable. The RO shall pass a speaking order in writing on whether the counting of printed paper slips is to be done or not. While deciding, the RO will give due consideration to a. whether the total number of votes polled in that polling station is more or less than the margin of votes between winning candidate and candidate making the appeal, b. whether EVM met with any defect and was replaced during poll, and c. whether there was any complaint about VVPAT not printing the paper slips or a complaint under Rule 49 MA by any voter in that polling station during the poll. The RO shall record in writing the reasons for his decision. We shall shortly look at the counting procedure for printed paper slips of the VVPAT. Sealing and storage of printed paper slips and the VVPAT. After the result is announced, irrespective of whether or not the printed paper slips of VVPAT are counted, all the printed paper slips and self-test reports available in the drop box of the VVPAT are required to be sealed and stored in the following manner. Keep all the printed paper slips in an envelope made of thick black paper after they have been taken out of the drop box of the VVPAT. Seal this black envelope with red wax with the secret seal of the Commission provided to the RO. Write on the envelope the name of the election, number and name of the constituency, the particulars of the polling station, the unique serial number of the CU and the VVPAT, date of poll and date of counting. Put these sealed black envelopes in the special plastic box supplied for this purpose. Seal this plastic box with pink paper seal in such a manner that the box cannot be opened without breaking the pink paper seal. The RO shall put his signature on the pink paper seal after the box is sealed. Write on the plastic box the name of the election, the number and name of the constituency, the particulars of the polling station, unique serial number of the CU and VVPAT, date of poll and date of counting. These plastic boxes shall be kept with all the statutory documents relating to that election till the period of filing of election petition is over or till final disposal of election petition, if any, by the competent court, whichever is later. Remember that the plastic boxes containing printed paper slips shall not be opened or destroyed without obtaining the permission of the Commission. Counting of printed paper slips of BVBAT in case the RO decides to count VVPAT printed paper slips, the procedure should be as follows. VVPATs of such polling stations shall be brought to the counting table or tables. Check the address tag of the drop box to confirm that it pertains to that polling station for which counting of printed paper slips is ordered by the RO. Then remove the address tag and take out the paper slips from the drop box. Ensure that no printed paper slip is left inside the drop box of the VVPAT. Show to all the counting agents that the VVPAT does not contain any more printed paper slips. In case the VVPAT was replaced during the poll, all VVPAT units used in that polling station should be brought to the counting table. Follow all the above mentioned steps for each such VVPAT unit. In case a VVPAT was replaced during poll, a printed paper slip may not have got properly cut and may be hanging, fully or partially uncut, visible from the transparent window of VVPAT. Such hanging uncut paper slip should not be counted. Please do not make